Welcome, Michael, from uh, Boomerang. Thank you. Uh, you gave your lecture today at the uh, European Crowdsourcing Week uh, uh, about the Danish crowdfunding uh, landscape. How goes crowdfunding in Denmark? It goes under the circumstances quite good, actually. Yeah, we're happy. And uh, the figures are very good. And, uh, and it's also a rapid growth in, in all areas. Of course, we could wish for more awareness in the general public on crowdfunding. So that's primarily what we're working at, both in, the, in, in Boomerang, but also in the Danish Crowdfunding Association. It's not so much uh, a work with you know, the project owners or the, or the funding side of it, the, the money side of it. We you spend all our time in actually marketing the concept of crowdfunding, what it can do for entrepreneurs to the public and to the society as whole. That's the more the important issue for us. And when you do crowdfunding uh, and to the rest of Europe, uh, because I'm used to that Denmark is, is upfront of lots of innovations. Mm -hmm. uh, are you also upfront uh, looking at the crowdfunding uh, comparing to the rest of Europe? Uh, in Boomerang, yes, we're opening up an office in Berlin by the end of this year, actually. And Boomerang, it has turned into a more a, a creative entrepreneur platform where all artists are uh, fund, uh, funding their projects. And we're taking that, uh, that pl platform to Berlin as well, starting in, in, in Germany by the end of this year. Uh, for lots of reasons, Berlin being the, 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 the creative capital of Europe, of course. And, uh, and a lot of Danes, I think it's about 300,000 Danes living in Berlin. So we have a good fair ground of, of uh, awareness there from okay. the start. Cool, because uh, is Boomerang uh, famous in Denmark? Uh, I would say famous, yeah, we have to define that. But uh, <laughs> Like Kickstarter? Uh, no, nah, yeah, no, I mean, Kickstarter is probably, you know, uh, the, 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 the household name still. Uh, but, but Boomerang is moving in, in the right direction, and uh, especially in, in the music industry, in the publishing industry. I mean, uh, Boomerang is for sure uh, a household name. And what were your challenges in building a crowdfunding uh, uh, platform? Uh? In, in Denmark? Basically, actually, to explain what crowdfunding is, it, it's been a big, 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 uh, a lot of time consuming effort to, to actually to try to, to tell the public and the, the entrepreneurs what crowdfunding basically is, why it's here. You know, everybody the, understands that they can't get money from the bank or any other source basically these days. So, something new had to happen. So, so uh, we have, I have spent a lot of time actually just explaining the basics to, to, to introduce the model and hopefully make it a success. And when you look at, uh, there, there was a panel discussion and, and one of the panelists said, okay, uh, they forced banks to, uh, when a, uh, a, a question for financing uh, uh, was dismissed, they forced mm -hmm. the banks to, to come with alternative mm -hmm. uh, uh, financial models. Mm -hmm. But I thought, okay, but now you're saying, okay, uh, uh, then the, the crowdfunding platform uh, will be the drain of the banks. Uh, mm -hmm. what, was it, what were your thoughts when you heard this? Uh, I've heard it before, of course, and uh, at the beginning, actually, I actually thought it was a, a good idea. But we, we're talking equity here, so so in, in the reward-based area where people normally won't wouldn't get a loan anyway in the banks, no matter what kind of a project they came up with. I, I don't think it's a it's 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 a way to go. I think more or less we should let the crowd decide what's going to live and what's going to not survive, and what, what, what how the banks approach their future business model. I'm not going to have any points on that. That's point. their problem. It's their problem, <laughs> and. Uh, and hopefully crowdfunding can push them a little bit to be better partners in that area. Uh, and, and for that, we need crowdfunding to be more uh, mainstream than yeah. it is today. Yeah. So, so whether we, the government will help us in actually putting out legislations that makes uh, market, better marketing or marketing campaigns for crowdfunding platforms and crowdfunding in general, that will be good. Whether they actually tell the banks to do like they do in Britain, uh, to actually uh, post uh, you know, alternative uh, financing sources, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm not the right guy to ask because, of course, I would like as much attention as possible, but I don't believe in, in, in uh, actually telling people what to do. I believe in people actually finding out themselves what is the best solution. I yeah. believe in the wisdom of the crowd. And you also uh, 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 change your model or, or you added uh, the equity-based crowdfunding uh, 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 to your company? Uh, well, I, I, would, I would have done that if you asked me the same question two years ago, because I was ready to do that two years ago. But the legislations, uh, when we asked the question whether the model was all right or not, uh, as I told you in my, in my keynote, uh, we found out that it was basically not illegal, but it was very difficult. So I dropped it there. And I think what's going to happen when first we have the legislation in place in Denmark is actually that there will be a ton of equity crowdfunding platforms in Denmark will be launched. And I think all of them will have problems with their business model because uh, the 5% commission that most pl platforms take will not be enough to, to survive in that, uh, that field. So I think I'll, I'll hold back a little bit and let the first one dies, uh, die and then I can uh, come in afterwards and see whether there's still a business to be done. Nice. Good strategy. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Thank you very <laughs> much. Good luck. <laughs> Same.